<clears throat> all right I had to change the tape there and uh, that's not even the only problem also the battery I don't have the battery charger which they think that they gave to me so now tomorrow I have to call them up and explain to them hey I never actually got that battery charger that I thought you gave to me and I checked out and they're like oh well, we thought you gave it to you blah blah and they'll be like yeah anyways fucking I gotta continue this stupid story uh, uh, cut 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 All right, I had to take a break there. I was telling my story about jail. I think I got up to like the part about jail. The thing is, I was very optim positive through everything I've been in through my life. I'm always positive, no matter what's going on. You could fucking strip me naked and put me in a foreign country that I've never been to before or another planet, and I'd fucking laugh about it. You know, when I was in jail, I fucking piss off any cellmate I'd had because I'd fucking like sing all night, I'd be obsessed with Bohemian Rhapsody and be like, I'm just a poor boy, nobody loves me, he's just a poor boy, so. And I fucking like made it like a very positive thing, I'd be like, hey, I'm a jail. <laughs> I remember like staying up all night in my cell and being like looking out, like it's not like they don't have bars like that, they got like electronic doors with like a little window, like a square little window you see on a lot of the doors. I'd look out the window being like, hey, hey, I'm in jail, I'm badass, you know. But anyways, so I was in the county for two months, and I finally got transferred to Zero Tolerance Boot Camp. It's this place that was uh, just south of San Antonio, uh, near a town called Poteet. They have a strawberry festival there every spring. I was actually incarcerated in Zero Tolerance during the strawberry festival, and we could hear the crowds from doing our physical training exercises in the month. But um, the first day at Zero Tolerance, it was early February, so it wasn't that cold. And uh, we got there, and uh, it was a very hardcore day. Like, they let the, the older boots that have been there for a while, like, have the run on the newbies, the ones that right straight get there, you know? And, like... Um, they fucking work your ass the first day and make you fucking do all these fucking crazy ass exercises and they hold you down and shave every inch of you and I didn't have any facial hair at the time so this Mexican gangster that's shaving me, Blue Willow so I get a little angry now cause like I kinda would kick his ass if I ever saw him now, you know but anyways, he's holding down 17 year old Greg and fucking shaving my peach hair he's like, I got peach hair I still have fucking like scars or on this side I got a couple of scars or whatever from that incident and I remember having to talk to the big guy that owned the Zero Tolerance thing, he was like an ex-football player, he was like, oh, it's not that bad, you'll be okay, you know, but um, I was the only white person, of course, and everybody else was like hardcore gangster, I was the only misdemeanor too, let's get something straight, I'm not a fucking felon at all, see a lot of people that are maybe watching this, I guess maybe the people I'm doing this for are dorky UT students, there's a huge difference between being felon and a misdemeanor, right? Everybody in this boot camp except for me was a felon. I've only been charged with misdemeanor. That's like small basic shit, you know? A lot of people have been charged with misdemeanors. Anyways, I can still be president. So... I'm in this zero tolerance boot camp. I'm one of this fucking young ass white kid and shit. And there's like some 